Hey guys. I am so glad you guys are here. It's Wednesday night, which means it's time for Paint Talk. Uh, I like to come on here every single day around this time and either work on canvas or furniture. My name is Dion Woods. I'm the owner and artist at the Turquoise Cyrus. And often my husband, Matt, is on here to help me read comments so we can answer all of your questions without me having to worry that I'm ignoring somebody. Hey, Matt. Hello. That's my guy. How are you guys? Let's come say hello. Um, Abby's usually here as well. I have a 16 by 20 canvas and I have poured Water Lily, which is a DIY paint color with Bohemian Blue. I haven't really done this combination before, but I wanna create a bunch of texture along the back. Drop of this. And I'm using the Paint Pixie Dusty Brush as well. How's everybody? We have an announcement to make. Who won the Spread Love Challenge? You guys nominated people and then you voted. And I am going to be giving away Miss Frenchie to either Tanette Major, to Kathy, and I cannot seem to remember her last name. I don't think I know how to say it. Or Cheyenne Lunsford. And they are the three people that we narrowed it down to as our finalists. You guys, this was intended to really highlight people that are going above and beyond, kind of, well, just spreading love everywhere they go. And ever since we started having to think about COVID and, and all of the changes that are going on in our lives, there have been people that I know who have really stepped up and gone above and beyond. And I just, this was something Matt and I wanted to do. Uh, we've given away artwork and we've given away some furniture pieces and I want to encourage you to to do whatever you can with what you have with where you are at this moment. Um, you know, even if that means in the line at Panera, you you buy the person behind you their food or, you know, it's just it's such a good feeling. I don't know about you, but Is it I kind of like paying it forward. Yeah, it's paying it forward, babe. I love giving things away. So. I'm going to get started on this. I'm going to let this dry. I also want to share with you something that came in the mail today. Um, and then I want to say thank you to Rob. Is Rob on here yet? I have not seen Rob on here. Yet. I got this in the mail from Mr. Rob Gloria. Just want to say thank you, Matt, and I appreciate the hand-painted card. I assume this was either Rob or Angela. I'm not sure, but one of them painted this, and I just want to say thanks for that. Um, you guys, the challenge for Spread Love is closed. I do have the winner, and I'm going to announce that in just a few minutes. I do want to turn my canvas. I love to use DIY as my backdrop, and I will often use it in my flowers. I haven't really decided what we're painting tonight, though. Um, I was just interviewing a TikTok expert, Miss Andrea Sanders, in my Creative Connection, and uh, she is up to like 11 million views or something ridiculous on her TikTok, and I'm trying to learn more about that. I think that becoming an entrepreneur, one of the number one things you can do is to continue to learn and pivot and shift with the changing of time and social media, I think that it's almost impossible at this point to have um, a extreme, extremely successful business without being on social media. So anyway, we were just talking about that and um, so, so fun and really making videos can be fun. Some people don't prefer live. Some people prefer a 10 second um, video. Cheryl, she is a, um, she did TikTok and Reels. Heather Watson, TikTok or Reels. She did both because she's been using, she's been reusing her data, like her videos for both. And um, she said her last video last week was of her painting a white Christmas tree on a window for a business. And that went, it's almost to 2 million views on TikTok and 40,000 on Instagram Reels. So um, it's just extremely powerful, you guys. If you're not doing it, you're trying to grow a creative business, TikTok is searching for creative businesses right now. So basically, if I started a TikTok channel, oh my gosh, I would break TikTok. You would break TikTok, Woods, if you started a TikTok. Okay, I just you wanted would. to clarify that. I don't want to do that, so I'll just stay in my Oh, space. that is so thoughtful of you. <laughs> um, it was an awesome little video. I thought so too. It had 
um, Jingle Bells. And it was just so simple for her. She had no idea that it would obviously go uh, viral like it did. And viral means that it has over a million views and hers actually is almost up to 2 million. So um, pretty exciting. She has gained lots of clientele, lots of custom jobs from just being a TikTok creator and posting short 15 second videos. Um, and I just, anyway, I could just pick her brain all day long. I love her videos. Not only that, she's the sweetest thing in the world, an extremely talented artist. So that does help. She's 31 years old and uh, is so full of information, has a podcast under the Art Academy. And um, anyway, that's what we've just been doing. How's everybody else? Matt, did you have a good day, babe? Yeah, it's just windy. Windy, huh? Yeah, the wind beat me up today. That's okay, because I can handle it. I would like to announce the winner. I'm on a live. Oh. <laughs> That's never happened before. Is he just messing with me? Don't trip. I will take care of it because okay. that's what I do. That never happens. Hold on. What's going on? Nothing. Holden needs help with his homework. Oh my gosh. He wants you he wants you to write his poem for him. You kept scaring me. Ah. You kept scaring me. Holden wants help writing a poem. Okay, you gotta love kids. Elijah never has opened the door and said, Holden needs you. And like looked serious. So well, sorry. That is, just is, set me back. That has never happened. The thing is, is that What? They're weird. They're boys. They've been away from each other for a while. Elijah's home for and the now holidays. Home and it's just kind of created this atmosphere of pick on mom. Pick on mom. Mm -hmm. And it's quite it's fun. Bohemian Blue and Water Lily. Yes. Bohemian Blue and Water Lily. Those are the two colors that I have on here. We're going to let this dry. I'm going to announce the winner. Sorry about that little distraction. Um, I will help Holden with that poem here in just a few minutes. Um, I'm wearing one of the aprons, of course, in about the same colors that I'm painting. Um, guys, I want to announce the winner. You just going to jump right in? Yeah, I am. I'm going to announce the winner. Well, I have to let this... Okay. I need to let it dry. I also need to... Um, show what came in the mail today as well um because i think a lot of these peeps would be interested in it so i'm gonna either paint some flowers or a girl or honestly i don't really know what i'm gonna do maybe we'll just maybe we'll just do a, a bouquet of flowers since i didn't do that last time i i said i would and then i didn't um the winner of the spread love giveaway we're gonna ship this piece of furniture um to cheyenne you guys voted for cheyenne to win so um, we had a bunch of nominees and we had a bunch of votes and guys, thanks for heading over there and clicking and Miss Cheyenne Lunsford. She's usually on here on YouTube. She's actually been pulled up onto here. Uh, she has won Miss Frenchie. So I will get Mr. James booked and get him to get that down to, to Texas where they are. So um, Cheyenne, congratulations. Thank you for being such a wonderful light. And even at 17, you are already so giving and so generous. Um, it's been a pleasure getting to know you and um, popping on here and always supporting Matt and I. We are just absolutely grateful for you. So thank you. Um, a lot of the people on here have met her. So congratulations, Cheyenne. I will get you Miss Frenchie as soon as I get it finished. <laughs> I have still not finished the top. Um, okay. So this is still drying. I have this section right here. I think I will do a vase. And Cheyenne's on here. She said, wait, she, wait, 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 wait. Yes, you are, babe. You won, Cheyenne. So Miss Frenchie is coming to you, sister. Um, Emma just texted me. Yeah. Oh, Emma texted her. <laughs> Thanks, Lolly. Thanks, Lolly. You are so sweet and giving. So I'm... Um, Thank you. Um, thank you. So guys, this is something new and I am a member of the Reclaimed Warehouse. If you don't know what Reclaimed Warehouse is, I am a member of the um, membership. This is only their second quarter. They have a subscription box. I haven't even opened it. Not once. It's a membership box. 
And Tabitha is so incredibly talented with styling. And those of you not following Reclaim Warehouse, you should. Not only is it a beautiful store, it's where I do my classes. Um, but Tabitha is a designer as well as a shop owner. And now she has a subscription box that she's put together. And I am a member. I'm actually coming into the group in December, no, January, and doing a painting tutorial. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. I can't see it. Okay, I know, I know. I haven't opened this. <laughs> I haven't even opened this. All I know is there's a garland in here, and it's made from wool. Oh, look at this, you guys. So if you subscribe to the winter box, I know it closes November 30th. But this is the garland. Or do you call this garland? Like holiday garland? I it's call Christmas. It, I call it a necklace. You call it a necklace. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to use it. You're not sure. I'm definitely going to use this for staging. Okay. Or a scarf. But this is gorgeous. I really, I don't think I've ever seen oh, chocolate. Get out. Hot chocolate on a stick. Peppermint, guys. So it's a, you dip it. Oh my gosh. I got to read the instructions. It has a peppermint, which would explain the reindeer. Oh my gosh. So there's a mug that also comes in it. Christy Lunsford, your daughter. She won. She won. She's going to win Miss Frenchie. So Miss Frenchie's coming to live in the Lunsford home. Um, we'll get it down to Bono, Texas, or Bueno, or wherever that is that Did you, you are. Bueno? Bueno, Texas. Down there. I don't know. It's not Bono. 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 It's not Bueno. Bona. Is it Bona? I think I it's Bona. All right. The mug. And I don't know what this is or who created it, but they're geniuses. That's all I know. That's what I know. This is her subscription box, you guys. It's open until November 30th. Oh, and we went the other day. Buna. 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 All right. They're candles. Is that down there by we, Beaumont? we don't have this. It's not far from Beaumont. Good Tidings is what this is called. These are all hand poured so soy candles. And then there is a Magnolia Home. The Jovi Collection blanket included in this. So all of this comes once a month. And what you get are home decor items that are valued at, I believe she said valued at over a hundred and I don't remember how, how many dollars, but you get two free classes online. They put you in a special group, which I'm in, and I am the J January guest, and I will be coming in there and teaching. Uh, but this is Miss Tabitha from Reclaim Warehouse, and I don't, I don't like to shop. You remember the days when I loved to shop, Matt? Like Saturday and Sunday, I loved to go to like TJ Maxx or Target or somewhere, and now I don't even like to leave the stinking house. Like it's it's a chore to get me out of the house. Is that a once a month thing or is that no, a quarter? No, it's a once a quarter. Once a quarter, okay. It's once a quarter. She she did she did like how we did the journal. She wanted to try it out and see how people liked it. Um, I'm sure she would like to become a monthly one, but I needed to show that because that just came in the mail and the deadline's on the 30th. So if anybody is interested, get after it. It is once a quarter, Heather. Um, I don't remember how much it is because I joined three months ago. Um, okay, so Art Lunsford. Hi, Art. Yeah, he said uh, 23 miles north of uh, Beaumont. Beaumont, Texas. Now, okay, the reason so we know Be Beaumont. Yeah, Beaumont, Texas is north of north, let's see, northwest of Galveston, I think. No, no northeast, northeast, baby. Northeast of Galveston. Yes. So we may just take that down there ourselves. Oh, nice. We'll throw it back in the pick em up truck. <laughs> so you're going to take me to Galveston is what you're saying? I'm thinking about it. Thank you for that, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, its value is much higher than that, plus the two free workshops that are included. Um, I believe there's a cake decorating course in Jan in December and then I am the January which I'm painting furniture for the group. So I, I think I'm just gonna finger paint. I mean why not? Why I not? Think that's a good idea. I think you should finger paint a frog. Uh yeah Cheyenne said we can come down and we can get some cornbread. 
Oh man, we could go to the we could go to I, the shop. I, we could I, eat well, too. I'm thinking about maybe some cornbread with some maybe like jalapenos in it. Do you guys do that? He likes cornbread with jalapenos, peppers. In it. I'm so happy for you too, Cheyenne. Tanette Major and Kathy, they were both so incredibly deserving as well. Um, yeah, that was fun. I'm we're just, very, very happy. And thanks for everybody who, who voted and, and one and, person and donated people. So that's really great. One yeah. person on here donated the donated a hundred of the shipping. Um, it'll probably, well, yeah, about a hundred of the shipping. And then, um, now I'm just going to get a baseline out here, guys. So, are you just kind of just kind of throw some paint on there and just kind of let it morph into something? Yeah, I, I'm just I don't have a plan, babe. I actually thought I was going to do another girl with braids tonight, but this is more what I'm feeling. I'm feeling this. I think you should just go where where your heart is. That sounds so. Is that cliche? You know it does, but I like it tonight. I'm feeling that we worked on the podcast for Llewellyn Crasted tonight after dinner. We have the podcast from Carrie Johnston coming out tomorrow morning. Um, All right, Shirley. Okay. All right. Here's a good one. Shirley Gay Norris in Huntsville, Texas. I went to a restaurant and tried broccoli cornbread. It was divine. Wow. I like that. Uh, broccoli I cornbread. I don't that. believe you that it was divine. I mean, I'm not even going to lie to you. Well, you love actually. broccoli. No, I don't. I thought you liked broccoli. No, never. Col is it coal fire? No, I'll eat both of them. Oh, I thought. You I mean, did. as a vegetarian, you just you kind of eat things that are available sometimes. Um, I used to make cauliflower a dish, but that was because my grandma Janita loved it, so that's why I made it. I'm not a big cauliflower kind of guy. I would put cranberries and different things in with it, but. You could probably count the vegetables I eat on like one hand. It's pretty bad, Woods. No, it's really good. I eat carrots, tomatoes, um, green beans, corn. Well, that's four. Uh, our peppers are vegetables? Yeah. Okay, so red and green. Did you just ask peppers. me if peppers were vegetables? Yeah, I just weren't real sure, you know. Oh my gosh. Um, onions, is that a vegetable? Yes. Okay, I like onions too. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I like more than I thought I did. All right, I'm just going to leave this for now. I just needed to line it out, place it. Um, you guys, this is a super fun night because Cheyenne Lunsford has won the Spread Love Challenge. So I'm thrilled for her. I had the honor of meeting her and spending time with her twice. Twice. They are really loud in there. Like, can you all hear my children? Like, I think they're really happy to be seeing each other, even though they acted like they didn't care. They weren't seeing each other. But I feel like Julia might be on FaceTime, too. Ah, there's no telling. Like, you know, I, I think when you boil it down, I'm not a big fan of adult vegetables. What? Adult vegetables. Like asparagus, cauliflower, <coughs> broccoli. I think those are like adult vegetables. Interesting. Does that, I mean, does that make sense? No. No? Okay. No, I feel like, you mean the ones that have less sweetness to them, possibly? I'm not sure, because I've never had them. I'm just, I You've always, never had them, so how do you know? Well, I've, I've tried have you? broccoli. Have you? Yes. And I've tried cauliflower. I've tried, I used to, used to make me eat asparagus. Yeah, we tried asparagus for a long time. And I just, I, it's just not, it doesn't work for me. I, I don't, I don't know if it's the smell, if it's the texture. I'm not real sure which one it is. Well, my friend used to grow it and she would give it to us free. And it's like, well, we have it. We don't have any money. So we're eating the free food when someone gives it to us. Why it always says parsnips. <laughs> what is that? Parsnips, they look like, they're root vegetable, babe. And they look like, um... They kind of look like a carrot, like a cross between a carrot and potato. She says it's a lovely root vegetable. Mm -hmm. That's what I said, a root vegetable. Turnips, they're like turnips, says Betty. Sorry, he's, he's. Um... Hmm. Lance says. <clears throat> Hi, Bob. Lance is <laughs> he on. He says, hashtag more sensitive Matt. <coughs> more Jeez. sensitive Matt. Um, I can get pretty sensitive. I can shed a tear. No, you can't. 
I have, I, I've been told I have tear ducts. I'm serious. They told me that. <laughs> All right, guys, it's going to look like a crazy hot mess for a while, but I'm just trying to line out some fun stuff. Only fingers tonight. We are not using any brushes or palette knives. Um, just to remind you, I have over a hundred palette knives in stock because <laughs> I love them. And I photographed them today. Okay, Papa Mac and Irene. Hi, Papa they, Mac. They say the parsnips they make a great mash. What is a like, mash? I'm thinking like mashed potatoes. Oh, so does that mean you you mush them with butter and garlic and salt and pepper? Like, is that what that means? I don't know. They're gonna tell I us. I mean, maybe if you throw a little butter, maybe some jalapenos or something in there. It sounds pretty good. Um, Cheryl Acton, Matt doesn't cry, question mark. You've never seen him cry? I've seen him. I have seen Matt cry. I have, yes. I have seen Matt cry um, probably four, four or five times, maybe. Uh, Earthly Soul Creation says corn is sugar and starch. So it's still a vegetable, though, right? I guess it has zero nutritional element to it. It is so zero. Good. No, so good. You put a little, you put some peppers in there, and then, and then you put some pepper in there. You just so said good. peppers, baby. Okay. Uh, Joanne uh, says only vegetables I don't like. Whoops. Uh, only vegetables I don't like is avocado and eggplant. Oh my gosh, avocados I can eat okay. raw all day long. I can do some avocados. Not eggplant. Nope. Oh, should not spray the electrical cool cords. Oh, shouldn't spray the lamp either. Yeah, I mean, you can. I don't think I should. Uh, I'm not a big eggplant kind of guy. When I think about it, this I is think a, he made me try eggplant one time. Oh, he, I'm he sure I did. On this really weird. When though, when I first got all these like exotic vegetables, you made me eat them and cook them and stuff. And actually, you cooked them. I didn't cook them. It's like Brazilian eggplant or something. That's, I don't know what it was. It's so not true, but that is shame on me for trying to make you eat healthier. Shame. <laughs> Okay, Debbie Winters calling. Says, Matthew, get some roasted beets. They're so sweet. They'll rock your vegetable world. Okay, I'm probably not going to eat anything that is a beet. Like, just, just quit being scared. I'm Liz. not being scared. Yeah, you are. You're I'm totally not. being scared of a vegetable. You sound like Holden. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. Matt's pretty good, though. He will technically eat just about anything that we put on the table. He may not like it. But he will always just look at me and say, thank you. Okay. Thank uh, you. Tasha Watkins. Hi, Tasha. Says, just made an avocado sauce for fish tacos. Ooh. Now that sounds pretty fish darn good. taco avocado sauce. Okay. Cindy Groom. Hi, Cindy. How uh, are you doing, sis? Baba Ganoush. Baba Ganoush. Um, I don't even know what that is. I, I think it's Italian. Maybe baba ganoush. Hey, bring me some baba ganoush. <laughs> no, Maybe I have not. no idea. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, love dipping carrots in avocado mash. Says what? Beer. I've never heard of that. Passionate. Have I ever tried beets? Um. What is a beet? Is it like a bean? No, it's red. Like a like a kidney bean. Does it look no, like a kidney bean? No, no, it's round. It's round. <laughs> and it's well, I'm caught I'm trying to paint here. Is it, does it look like a radish? Is this on? No. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, it is. Is it a radish? I don't know. Ask the people that are smarter okay. than we are. Okay. Uh, Cindy says Cindy Green says not Italian. It's an eggplant dish. The baba ganoush. It's a uh, Middle East. The baba ganoush. It's so not, it's, it's not a Middle Eastern dish. Okay. Uh, Derek, apparently I have never tried eating beets. Um, well, your mom never cooked beets. You've got pickled beets. Oh. Now, that sounds halfway. I love pickles. Okay. They have sweet and sour beets. 
Oh my gosh, maybe well, I'm missing out on something. Here. I always figure people add the whole pickled when their vegetables are disgusting, and so they pickle them to make them more edible. Sorry, that's kind of what I always figured, but I like cucumbers, but I also like well, what does a what does a what does a beet taste like? Does it taste like a bean? I don't know, guys. What is it? What else has conversation gone to this? This is a paint show, Woods. We're having some serious conversations because um over on YouTube and Facebook, they're like, I mean, they like they cook them. The best way is the uh, beets in the fridge. Okay, um, we've got the backer up on. At some point, we got to get some flowers going on here. Um, I am going to add a little bit. I'm going to wipe my fingers. Okay, mm -hmm. we have D6075 uh, says beets are a red root vegetable. We call them beetroot in Australia. So D6075 is from Australia. We appreciate you being here and good day. Good day to good you. Good day. Oh my goodness, I can't get this open. I'm going to try it one more time. But while this is drying, I'm going to work on getting some gold over here. This is hideous right now, guys. We're just lining it out and getting our shapes on here. Okay? It's way overdue time for me to be finger painting. I needed this so badly. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's, there's, we've had several people. I'm going to read this with Lori Peck. says, beets taste like dirt in a good way. Tastes like <laughs> dirt. She's not the only one who says that. Um, How can you say Irma, in a Irma good Rosales way? Irma Rosales says the same thing. She says beets beets taste like dirt. I like them pickled on salads. Oh, I think I've had that. You yeah, you can have that. At, yeah, I've I've had that at restaurants. Pickled beets. Okay, Patrick Pigment has a really good question to, okay. to get this away from vegetables. Thank you. Thank you. Passionate Pigment says, what is your favorite side dish for Thanksgiving? Oh. Great question. Favorite side dish for me is the sweet potato casserole. Sweet potato casserole. Yeah, you know I like that stuff, baby. I like it. What I about know. you guys? Cheyenne says, uh, mom loves pickled beets, but I refuse to eat them. Cheyenne, I might be with you, but I think I might try them. Uh, Lala says, red pudding, corn casserole. Um, okay, what else do we have? Loaded deviled eggs, says Passion. Oh. Heather Watson, uh, she says beets, throw up face, throw up face. <laughs> um, sweet potato casserole is yes. good. Michelle. Michelle. Girl, look okay. all that brown um, sugar and butter. Tasha says my fave is sweet potato casserole and sweet potato pie. I've never been a big fan of the sweet potato pie. I don't have the pie because I eat the chocolate instead when it comes to desserts. But give me a sweet potato casserole. It's like dessert anyway. I mean, it's pretty much the same. I'm not, you know, I, I've never had sweet potatoes until I married Dion. Why? Your mother makes them every year. That doesn't mean I like it. You never ate them no, when Mama made them? No, no. It was orange, and it, it looked like... It was orange. It looked like warm baby food. Can you eat carrots, honey? I don't eat... I did When I was growing up, I could not eat cooked carrots. I could only no. eat raw carrots. All right. But I, I love cooked carrots now. It's a little bit cinnamon. I think Holden gets his eating from you after all this time. I actually think it's you, not me. I don't think so. He is so picky. Holden drives me bonkers. He has, you know, the mom guilt that you have when your kids won't eat anything and you think one of them's going to die after eating chicken nuggets for 10 years of his life. <laughs> that was Elijah. And then Holden just like refused to eat anything that was good for him. Okay. Papa Mac and I read says blue Hubbard pie. What? Now that sounds interesting. I'm going to have to explain what's in that. Uh, green bean casserole says Cheryl Atkinson. I like that too, Cheryl. Uh, Shirley says, uh, you're making me hungry. Huh? Me too. I'm ready for dessert. Uh, Heather Watson says mashed potatoes with gravy all day All day. Long. All day. Mashed potatoes, twice baked potatoes. Give Put the cheese in the potatoes. Okay. Carolyn Bergeson. Bergeson? Bergeson? I think I said that right. Uh, sausage stuffing with apples in it. 
Now that sounds pretty That sounds like a matte dish, guys. Have a question. Can you stain your distressed wood over chalk paint? Can you stain your distressed wood over chalk paint? I say yes, you know. Shanoa, I say yes, absolutely. Spaghetti squash squash is so good. Haven't had blue Hubbard ever. Nope, me neither. Okay, Papa McInerney, it's a huge winter squash. Blows pumpkin out of the water. Wow. Hmm. Wow, okay. All right, next color. Let's see. Put the bohemian blue. I've got one more. I'm a big, I'm a big, big fan of twice baked potatoes. Mm -hmm. My mom used to make those when I was little. She and, still makes them, maybe. No, she still does. But that's what I remember growing up. I would eat nothing but turkey, ham, and twice baked potatoes. And then it, she made me eat corn. <laughs> which I like eating corn, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, so yeah, that that's my favorite. Wally well, says she has stained over paint, so. Yep. I would say yes. I don't use traditional stain anymore. I, you can use Minwax or whatever, but I like to use our product called Dark and Decrepit as a stain. So I can definitely use that over chalk paint, but I, I think you could definitely use traditional stain. Shanoa, beautiful name. I am just putting a little bit of aviary in here for a little bit of texture. We're going to have to let this dry and come back tomorrow, but I... We'll have a couple of days of this building up our layers. Okay, now they're taking it to a whole new level. Uh -oh. um, because Joanne says, favorite sandwich the day after Thanksgiving, turkey, cranberry sauce, stuffing, and mayo. Oh. I'm not a big cranberry kind of guy, but you just, you really can't go wrong with a turkey sandwich after Thanksgiving. You just really can't. Unless you don't eat turkey. Hmm. Well, if you're a vegetarian, obviously you're not going to be eating turkey to begin with. But. No, no. Uh, Molly says yes, but only used water-based stain before. Water-based mm -hmm. over the chalk paint. Okay, good point. Good point. Uh, Susie Chiller, twice baked are good. So is biscotti. Oh yeah. What is biscotti? Biscotti, well, what I, what we call biscotti is, is the crunchy toast with like spices on it, but I'm not sure I'm, when I'm not sure we're thinking the same thing. This right now looks like an overgrown fern, um, but I promise it's going to look better, guys. Hmm, okay. Uh, Cheyenne Lunsford. How does she get beautiful drip, cry face? Mine looks like it was ugly crying with a bad mascara job. Oh, <laughs> sister. Practice, practice, practice. Practice, honey, practice. The great thing is it's just paint. You can paint over it. Yeah, you can just paint over it. I think it's just you get familiar. It's that um, doing it over and over again of realizing once you add water, you know the consistency and you're familiar with what it looks like. And so I know whether it needs more water or less water. I've been using the same paint for almost four years. So the formula has never changed and it's just, I'm just familiar with it. So I think that probably helps a lot, Cheyenne. Guys, if you're just popping on, we announced our winner of our Spread Love giveaway. And Miss Frenchie is a piece I painted in my Creative Connection membership, and I used one of Bubblegum Yum prints. Miss Frenchie is the beautiful girl with curlers with the big bubble in her mouth. And I did kind of a retro 60s mod look on it, and we're going to give that away because you guys voted for Cheyenne Lunsford. So we're going to hook it up, get her, um, get her that dresser, and um, hopefully encourage the rest of you to consider and continue um, spreading your love. I think it's called Shinoa. Shinoa Lane. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, will dark and decrepit make your white chalk paint look aged? Yes, it will. It will definitely change the color of your white paint if you put dark and decrepit over it or any type of dark stain. Um, yes, Michelle, I am going to feature a painting. So this is uh, before we go. You know, I've been working on my my abstract series and it is complete. Um, but this is like fine wine, and I named it after Josie C. Seeker from Paint Pixie.
it's 20 by 20 and um this is that i would love to know what you guys see in this you guys are so good about telling me what you see in my abstracts i find it really fun and so sharing it with you guys up close Jill, yeah baby does that make you h-a-p-p-y h-a-p-p-y <laughs> yes it does so happy um yeah so this is like fine wine this was the one i named after josie siefker of paint pixie brushes and she's a wonderful beautiful friend and uh, she came to the waco retreat and spoke about business and starting a business in even in your 60s and uh, super proud of her you see a woman skiing love it good night, Cheryl. <sighs> good night everybody you see an eagle's head janet says dirty onions lol i don't know what that means sister Dirty onions in the can, Janet. Oh, uh, I see a giraffe head. Yeah. That's a lot of good stuff right there. It is. A person walking in from the left okay, side. No, flip it. Flip it. Flip it. No, it's upside down. This is how. Yeah, we'll turn it right side up. Wrong side up, you mean? Whatever side goes up. Good night, Heather Watson. Good night, Heather Watson. Take care, sister. We'll see you tomorrow night. You see a flamingo head. So I, my favorite part of this entire series, which is what I tried to do consistently, was to use the fluorescent orange. And I applied my catalyst wedge. Good night, Papa Mac and Irene. Good night, you guys. Um, right here in this section right here, I used, so each painting has my fluorescent orange uh, application. It's real sheer. Fluorescents come really sheer. The viscosity is really, really, really almost more like watery. Um, and that's what kind of ties all of these together as well as similar colors. Um, you all, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight on Paint Talk. I'll see you back tomorrow. I don't know if I'll wait until, thank you, Lolly. I appreciate you, Emma, so much. Um, I don't know if I will be on at 8.30 if I'll come on a little bit earlier. Like I said, I told you, it feels like it's midnight when I come on at 8.30 now that the time has changed. I saw an interesting mask with the eye on the right. I like this one. A uh, white horse in sombrero. I love that. I love a good hat, especially sombrero. You guys take care. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya.